And so bantamweight champion Ronda Rousey with us now on Sports Center. She just finished her workout. And, and Ronda, I, I'd like to know what is a normal workout for you? Normal workout. Well, normal is hard to word to use because MMA has so many different dis disciplines in it that I do different stuff all the time. But um, my favorite is striking. Actually, I like to come in and, and box on, on, in my free time. So um, I, I want to win a championship this weekend, and I'll probably be boxing again tomorrow. Well, you're, you're coming off. You mentioned that impressive win over Kat Zingano to retain your women's bantamweight title in 14 seconds. Everyone talking about the length of time. You had talked about after the fight. Perhaps you knew she was going to charge after you. She did. You took advantage. Where did that fight rank in your career in terms of overall execution? Well, I think that was my most flawless one. I, you know, I had a 16 second fight before, but. I, um, I mean, it's several mistakes, but this one, I mean, I've looked through it frame by frame, and there literally isn't a single wasted movement in the entire fight. I, I mean, I wish I could have reacted a little sooner, maybe, um, at her charge at me, but I can't, I can't say a single real bad thing about it except for my reaction time at the beginning. If, if you watch it frame by frame, literally, like, I did a backward cartwheel off my face. Like, I didn't plan that at all, but... If that's your reaction at the moment, then I guess you plan something right. <laughs> wow, a faster reaction time. Yeah. Imagine that. Under 14 seconds, some say, wait, that's too quick. You're so dominant. Maybe that's not good for your, your growing sport. Others argue you've become such a spectacle to watch that when you're in there, people are watching. The past two fights, just 30 seconds. What are these women lacking when they get into the octagon with you? It's not that they're lacking anything so much. It's just, you know, they they decided later in life that they wanted to do, that they wanted to be a, a fighter. You know, a lot of these girls, they, they already developed their personality and had a life and one day decided, hey, I'm really good at this stuff. I should give it a try. Whereas, and this is literally what I was raised to do. You know, I... I was in two Olympics before this, and I have an Olympic medal, and um, it, this was something that I had my mom attacking me randomly throughout the house when I was a little kid, you know, like, um, I have these kind of reactions and memories, and thousands and thousands of them, I did judo, I, I, I fought sometimes in three divisions in two tournaments per weekend, so that was six divisions, I mean, there's, I was still putting these girls out, they just can't catch up. And different class of yeah. competition. Sure. Absolutely. Now, you had talked about one of the big stories coming out of this one. UFC announcer Joe Rogan has stated that he thinks you might be able to beat 50% of UFC male bantamweight fighters. So now this debate has started. Rhonda, what do you think about Rogan's comment? I mean, I never say that I'm incapable of beating anybody because I don't believe in putting limits on myself. So, I mean... I would have to say that I, if you're just talking about what in the realm of possibilities is possible of who I could be, well, I could beat 100% of them. But um, you can't you can't tell me that there's a zero percent chance that I can't beat anyone on this planet. So I'm never going to say that. I want to see it. <laughs> Let's just line it up and get pay per view going. <laughs> All right, Rhonda, can you get on that for us? Uh, well, I don't know. I'm having a meeting with the UFC today, so I'll throw an idea out there. Excellent. Right. When the meeting's <laughs> over, call back into Sports Center and break the news for us, will you? <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Rhonda. Congratulations again. Thank you. All right. Hey, cut.